everyone and welcome to Face Aerobics. Thank you so much for coming by this Wednesday and having a look at the videos. I really do appreciate it. As you know, I appreciate it all the time. Everybody who comes and has a little browse around for people who subscribe and like and comment and share the videos. I want to thank you so much for doing that for me because, you know, what you're actually doing is getting this message of facial exercises out to everybody. And it's actually getting the message out that we can actually take control of our own rejuvenation. We don't have to put our own rejuvenation into someone else's hands, that we actually have control of it. What I wanted to do was talk to you about the muscles of the forehead today. And this is going on from the exercise that we did last Friday, because Friday coming, I'm going to do another forehead exercise. And I really want you guys to start understanding which muscles are being used. Now, the problem with these back muscles is that for women, it's very difficult to, to move them. Men find them much easier to move because they've got much stronger control over those muscles. But because we don't move them, what happens is they start to atrophy and we cannot get any control over them. But if we can learn to move these back muscles, we will then have a wonderful chance of getting our forehead to lift even further. So I'm going to talk to you about the muscles of the forehead so you can get an idea of what muscles you need to learn about and visualise so you can make this happen. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about these muscles here in the front, which are called the frontalis. And we're also going to be talking about these muscles here at the back of the head. The top one up here, there's a muscle up here called the superior auricularis. There's one down the bottom called the posterior auricularis and this one in the middle is called the occipitalis. Now if we can learn to move these muscles at the back and activate those muscles at the back of our head then we've got a better chance of getting more of a forehead lift. Now the problem is, is that women find it a little bit difficult to lift those muscles. So that is the reason today is to get you to know which muscles are which at the back, give you a little bit of a practice because we're going to go ahead and do the another forehead exercise on Friday. Now this exercise on Friday is much different to the one that I gave you last Friday, but nonetheless it's a forehead exercise and I'd like you to start activating these muscles at the back as well. So what I'd like you to do at the moment is just to put your fingers at the back of your head and it's right under that, I just it's sort of just under your ear, there's a um, where your skull starts um, to move upwards. There's a little bump, and that's where the posterior auricularis is. Now, what I'd like you to try to do is to move it. And the way you do that is you move the muscles in your neck, the tra trapezius muscle. Okay? So you move that muscle. It's almost like you take a little bite. So as you take that little bite, I want you to start feeling the muscles that are moving here. This is the posterior auricularis. It's just a tiny little muscle. Again, up the top here, you do the same. But you, you actually squeeze the muscles on your head. And the occipitalis is the same. Now with the occipitalis, of course, it's that exercise that I was giving you like this, that when you squeeze, you're squeezing the occipitalis, you're squeezing the posterior auricularis and the superior auricularis. So these are the muscles I want you just for the next few days, just to start isolating and just start working on. Now you don't have to do full on exercises with these muscles, it's just to give you an idea of getting you aware of moving these muscles. Now once you start to learn to move these muscles, it's almost like your ears can move. And uh, there's a funny little tip that men can move their ears more than women can. And that's because they have control over these muscles that I'm talking about. So I really hope that helps. Make sure you download this, um, this schematic. This is a really good schematic for you guys to really learn about uh, the muscles and to learn about and visualize the muscles that we're going to be using in the exercises. Okay guys, well I hope that helps you today. I really hope that gives you just a little bit of more of an understanding of the muscles. And um, it's not a really long one, it's only like five minutes for you to listen to, but it's very important that you learn to isolate these muscles and learn to know which muscles are moving. Because the more knowledge we have about the muscles of our face, the more knowledge and power we have to make our facial exercises more, more deeper and take them to that next level. 
All right, guys, well, you have a lovely day today. I hope you have a look at the pictures at the end of the uh, video, my before pictures. If you haven't seen them already, please have a look at them because you will be amazed at the transformation that I've been able to make on my own face and my own health and my own body since doing facial exercises. All right, guys, again, you have a lovely day and I'll see you on Friday. Bye now.